Hubble Space Program. Uh, and start up a new science career that a lot of us have been talking about um, in the and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with that. Uh, I'm not gonna name it Turn Aerospace this time. I think that it's a bit of a cursed administration name right now. Not sure what I'm. some fun ramping up this difficulty and put it on moderate for start and I am going to, to allow this stuff as I usually do just in case of crackening and I'm not going to include the stock vessels the facilities aren't going to be indestructible as if it matters in science though science mode Reentry heating 100% resource abundance 80% that's good uh, science rewards I want to kick that down to about 70% for now. Might lower it even more later. Keep the comm network active. Enable Kerbal experience, but they're not going to level up immediately. Negative funds in science. Uh, we can have some fun with the pressure limits and g-force limits. Let's do that. Yeah, let's activate every one of those. Try to keep it nice and realistic in this playthrough. It'll be kind of fun. There won't be um, any funding issues. Just have to worry about losing Kerbals and reputation. Uh, I am going to disable the resource crossfeed rules for now. I'm going to reactivate that later at some point. Uh, require signal for control, of course. Plasma blackout, yes. Range modifier is good, DSN modifier good, occlusion modifier and and the vacuum and atmosphere good. I'm going to keep the ground stations active for now as well. I am going to modify a lot of this as I go, but this is just how I'm going to start. So I'm going to save that and let's get started. Not sure how much time I'm going to have for this first episode, but um, I'm going to work with what I have until it's time to stop. And the thing I don't like about science mode is that there are no contracts. You just kind of roll with it until, you, uh, until you've made your way through the entire tech tree, which is fun, but once it's over, you kind of have to push yourself with your own missions and get inventive instead of doing um, what the game tells you to do through contracts and missions, but that's okay. We can just make this a nice dedicated science mode let's play and cover all kinds of stuff like if I want to do a tutorial for something I haven't done a tutorial with yet, I'll do it and if there's like a group challenge going on. I'll do it in this as well. So on and so forth. But let's get this ball rolling and launch our first vessel and get some science going. Start working our way around the tech tree here. I want to immediately start pitching over. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to load this thing down with a few of these. So we can score some decent science in this first run. Put that there. That would be good. That should be fine. Oh, and don't want to make the same rookie mistake I did in the last Let's Play. Let's focus up so we don't fail again. And hoot. That was a fast five minutes. Wow. Alright, let's get some science going. The great thing about this is everything is already fully upgraded. You can do everything right out the gate, which is nice. Makes getting some science very quickly very easy. 
here in the beginning, but after we start launching and really get into it, it's not going to be so easy. Right, let's get back in here, get this crew report, some mystery goo observation, and then we'll hop back out and grab all that just in case the mystery goo happens to explode for some reason uh, or another. So I've played with crippled G-force limits, part limits and so on, not so much, not that I can recall, but we'll see how it goes. survive that somehow, that's good. Let's try to move over to the retro. Oh, it's not going to let us. Okay, let's pop the chute then. Hopefully we don't lose that chute. If not, we'll have to ditch and parachute down manually. Uh, that's not good. Don't want to lose battery power. the SAS will do the rest for us. Looking good. Let's disengage the SAS. Let it normalize. Six point six or thereabouts. It's EVA. Grab that data. Good. EVA reports. We'll grab that mystery goo data just in case it gets damaged upon landing. Got a couple hundred meters to go though. I need to check something though. I need to review the data. Mystery goo flying at Kervin, flying over Kervin's waters. Okay, yeah, so we need to land to go any further. So let's do that. Not bad. I was expecting there to be damage, but I'm not going to complain that there wasn't. Let's get some mystery goo, crew reports. EVA report after that, as well as a surface sample, and we'll wrap up this first launch. Head to the R&D department to start getting some parts, and then we'll make our real first launch, now that we've got the formalities out of the way. wonder how much science we're going to get from that, probably like 50 thereabouts. guess we'll find out here in a moment. Forty point seven, not bad. We can work with that. All right, let's immediately unlock the um, terrier swivel. Sorry. Well, we need a new science. That's important. And we're gonna need a heat shield because we are leaving the atmosphere in this next launch. Okay, so that's that's what we're gonna focus on now. I don't know about making orbit. <laughs> without side decoupling or anything else like that then let's get rid of this and this go straight down to utility and put some drogue shoots on here and since I am a bit concerned due to the ramped up difficulty I'm going to put two here and put two here I can find that sweet spot. There it is. Alright. Let's separate the main chute from those droog, droogs. Droogs. <laughs> and stage it correctly. Make sure it's not interfering with the hatch. Looking good. Alright. Now, new science time. First, mystery good. Which I'll place here. 
and I'm going to do a little clipping. I'm going to bring those in like that, which I love to do. For anybody that's been watching me a good bit, you've probably seen me do that quite a bit. And put those here. There we go. It's more for aesthetics, not for function. Little for function too, though, because sometimes they can get in the way of other science parts that I use. I believe that's all we're gonna need in the command pod. Now it's time to build the vessel itself. I'm gonna make this a multi-stage vessel, though. I might be able to make orbit somehow without all the um general limitations of a new career, we can build this thing to be as heavy as we want, as tall as we want, so that's nice to be able to do this early. I'm going to make sure that this is set to that decoupler. That's a lot of Delta V for that stage already, which is quite nice. I'm going to max this one out now. Maybe. No, I'm just going to Make it exactly the way this stage was. And then I'm going to max it out for the launch stage. But I'm going to make it pretty interesting and a bit ridiculous looking because it's Kerbal and you can do that. Uh, max this stage out. And then here's the fun part. It's going to be a tad bit ridiculous then. I'm going to radial 6 more boosters. I'm going to try to make orbit immediately. It's going to be fun. Bring these in nice and tight. I think that'll be close enough. It makes me wish I had auto strut because this is just begging for the Kraken. Might, um, might be saying goodbye to Jeb, <laughs> if, uh, but we'll find out. Could try to wait to just use these as struts, but they kind of are strutting into one another, where I move them in like that. Nothing else to really add now except for aerodynamics. So let's open all those overlays and put some fins on here. I think, right, wow, okay. Let's put them down here then. Still not enough. Alright, so we'll double up on it. Let's move them over one, two, three. And then, copy. Run back over one, two, three. A little wild, but it'll work. Let's do it. Let's bring it on down. And make sure the staging is good. I want that engine to go off first. So it has a nice center of thrust. And let's launch. I've already got the lower atmosphere flying over Kerbin's waters launch pad. I don't have the temperature or barometric pressure readings from there though, so I need to get those. And I need to remember to get those over Kerbin's waters or lower atmosphere on the way back down, which will probably happen. There's a lot of a lot of water. All right, so now that we have that, let's see what this wild little creation can do. It's going to have a lot of thrust and weight, so I'm going to lower that down just a wee bit. Turn the SAS off, so there's less wobble and bubble to worry about. Yeah, it's already starting to whack itself out. Let's I had to lose this stage immediately. Let's cut those engines. Yeah, we're gonna have to lose that stage. Oh, that's ugly. Come on, SES, don't let me down. There we go. Alright, let's try to salvage this. We're not going to orbit. We might still be able to make it to space. <laughs> I don't know how I saved that, but... Yeah, that was ugly. That was ugly. I knew something was going to happen. I mean, typically I can pull it off, but... That was just... Wow. I mean, you know... Not the best. Start. Not going to cost us a thing, though. Starting to 
break the atmosphere though. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to break through the atmosphere. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and try to push that prograde over to Man, that's not the best start at all. <laughs> that's pretty bad. I'm afraid to get out of this thing right now. Let's observe the mystery goo. Get a crew report. And I need to make sure the temperature reading and the barometric pressure reading, I need to make sure... Okay, so that it, it was from the upper atmosphere. So I need to make sure to get the lower atmosphere on the way back down. I'm not really feeling any g-forces or anything. I'm afraid to get out of this thing still then. But I need to, so let's give it a shot. Gonna be okay, Jeb? Yeah, you're gonna be okay. Alright, so let's grab that EVA report take all this data in case anything happens, plus to free up some space for some more science. I cannot get over how ugly that launch was. Ugh. That was bad. <laughs> but it's okay. We're doing alright. We'll make it to orbit on the next one. <clears throat> alright, let's get back in here and grab a crew report. Grab all the science from space near Kerbin before we start falling back. That was rough. <laughs> I still can't believe how bad that went, honestly. I was expecting it to go a little better than that at least, but can't be helped, oh well. Alright, so there's that few more to go here. I think we still need the EVA report. We're not falling back down just yet though. So we're in the clear for now. Make sure I've got this goo data too. Looking good. Grabbed all that. Looking good. But I have a good bit of science from this at least. Okay, so I already got the EVA report. Let's get back in here. Let's, um, let's try to expand that line a little bit because we are falling again now. Let's use up the rest of the still to be. See just how far we can go. Might be able to make it to a new biome upon landing. Yeah, that's gonna be shy. That's okay though. Let's get rid of that butt to the ground. Relative to the ground, of course. Need to make sure it's in surface mode too. Alright. Now let's go home. I wanna turn this a little bit good. Don't need anything from the upper atmosphere at all anymore, so don't have to worry about that. Let's turn the SAS off. Turn it back on there. Turn it back off. Alright, now we can just leave it off. I'm going to do its thing. I think it'll be okay. Once we start feeling the burn, though, we need to keep an eye on some temperature gauges that are sure to start popping up. If not, I'm going to be shocked. Okay, well-oiled machine. Not bad. Alright. I'm worried about popping those shoots as early as I'm used to. Okay, there go the G-forces. Let's pop them back up. And let's pick that speed back up. On the warp. to get the 
those to free up some space to be able to get that science. Let's do that. Let's take that data. And I already grabbed it last time, but I think you can still squeeze some science out of the surface sample. Yep. Alright, let's get back in there. Grab that temperature reading. We'll grab that pressure reading. Groovy. Alright, we should score some good science from this. Let's see. It is 15 plus the 2 on the sides. So 17 in total. That should net us upwards of 70 to 100, somewhere between there. Just tossing numbers out and making guesses, but let's see. 100 science in total, 84.5 gained. All right, that's good. Let's spend it, and we don't have to buy these after getting them either. <laughs> Yay! All right, immediately, I need to get that auto starting. But there are more important things in a way. Let's get those side decouplers. Need those. Get those. And I guess I'm going to have to go with general rocketry. That's okay. There's more to be gained. Let's build another vessel. I think we'll start naming the vessels with this one now. Without the terrier. I'm not sure if I want to try to go to the moon yet, but uh, we'll see what we can make. We're definitely going to make orbit, even without the terrier. I know that we can make orbit. Need to update the auto strutting now that we have that. That's nice. That'll prevent a lot of things that you just saw in that last launch, at least, which would be good. Just a couple more things to strut here now. <clears throat> and did I auto strut that fuel tank? Yeah, okay. Let's get that engineering report back up. Add one more and then put that swivel on it. Strut that to root, double that up, and then one more maybe should do it. I should max it out. Definitely maxes it out, but let's uh, beyond maxes it out, honestly. But uh, I'm gonna do what I did last time. I'm going to radial six this up, auto strut. Now, unlike last time, I raise it up a little bit and add more to these stages. Let's see. Just how much more we can add here. This will be able to... Let's do some math. So I'm going to have seven of these engines. It's going to be able to do about 1,100 or more kilonewtons of thrust. I'm going to add quite a bit to this. In that case, let's... Get rid of this. Copy this. I want it radio one here first. I'm going to do a few of these. And then put the swivel back on. And make sure it's strutted properly. Make sure all of them are. Okay. Now, what's that going to land us at? That's still not a whole lot of mass. I'm surprised. But ah, I guess I'll do it again. Alright, let's move these over. Move this over. Copy that. Probably a few more times, honestly. And put this back on. Let's get rid of this one. Copy all of that, not just a little bit of it. What's that going to put us at? I'll take that. That's good enough. Okay, now the fun part. Making it where it's stable. I'm going to move these in. Get a nice view at the bottom here. That should be good. Alright, you're a big one, are you? Let's begin the strutting. This is the important part. I'm going to make it to where it's going to be able to hold together this time. It's going to gain a little extra weight, too, 
but we have tons and tons of thrust away to be able to not be concerned with that at all. Yep, one more set of struts down here, and that'll take care of the side strutting. Now let's move up, strut it from here. Want one on the inside, say here. Want that strutted down here. And then we'll take one to the outside and strut it up to the top as well as possible. Wow, I can take it up pretty high. Put it right there. Now, that should be pretty stable. So, what else am I going to do to you? Let's uh, take care of the aerodynamics. Let's... Ah, I can add nose cones. Well, that changes things. Let's get rid of these struts. Put the nose cones on. And then we'll strut them up. Question is, is that going to interfere with the staging? Let's... Get rid of the shroud and take a look. I think it is. I'm going to move those down just to here. That should be fine, I think. It's awfully close, but I think it should be okay. Just in case, I'm going to move them down one more, and then re-enable the shroud, and then do the strutting. Let's do it from the bottom this time. Take it straight up, as high as I can go. Looking good. I'm over precautious like that. I'm going to put one in between those, say, on this stage. About here. Everything looks good. Now, I just need to take care of the aerodynamics. Let's open those overlays. That's almost enough. Yeah, actually, that is enough. Let's put those there. Let's strut them up. I do have the launch stability enhancers now, right? But I'm unfortunately not going to be able to use them the way this thing is built. So let's get the staging taken care of. Where's the first decoupler? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Which one is it? It is that one. Okay, so let's put you down here. Let's put this one, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's put you here. Everything else looks good. Let's... I just saved it as untitled. Whoops. You know what? It is an untitled craft, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit wild. But, uh... Yeah. Let's move it on down and launch it on up. There's good. Let's update that and launch. Let's see if we can make orbit with this monstrosity. do it every other time before. Should not have any problem doing it this time. Might even be able to do a month flyby, I don't know. Let's do it. I don't have to worry about any signs until we get high above Kerman. So nothing will get in the way of concentrating on making more. Have any reason to be 
Australia. That's wild. Okay. Alright. Our altitude is 54,000, huh? Let's get this bowl rolling. Got a lot of distance there already, which is nice. How much time to? Alright, let's reduce that to about 30 seconds or so. <coughs> over. It ain't wanting to move at all. <laughs> There's not much power either. But I think we have enough. As soon as it gets over there, this thrust of weight's really going to take off them. It's almost going to be enough to make orbit with the launch stage. Let's lock that SCS now and push it. Sure, we're gonna have to stage first, so I'm not worried about keeping it in that view. But as soon as we stage and then push it out of the way, go back to the map view. I need to move this up a wee bit, try to bring that back around. There we go. Now we can walk back on down here. Just wait for that to wrap around. There we go. We made orbit. And we don't get anything for it. <laughs> Not even if we go on an orbital spacewalk or anything. That's the difference between science and career mode. Alright, so we have 2,572 meters per second of delta B. What are we going to do with it? Where is Minmus? Minmus is right there, huh? You know what? I'm going there. I'll see you back there, Minmus. We're already in line with it, right where we need to be, except for that descending note, of course. Let's punch it. And try to correct that as we're punching it, too, maybe. We go this way. Yep, okay. Let's try to correct that very quickly, and then keep going from there. Thrust limiter down to about a fifth. Close that in. Focus up and close the distance. How's that periapsis looking? 40,000. I want it closer than that. Let's bring it down as close to zero as possible. 0.98, we'll take it. Alright, so how are, we, how are we looking? There we go. 10,000. Awfully close, but still safe. Alright, now, let's keep an eye on that periapsis. Not bad. And once we hit about 500,000, I'm going to kick that. Start doing some science high above curving. Good thing is, where it's not the uh, Terrier engine, and it's a swivel still, can still get uh, some power from the engine. Which is crucial, because we don't have solar panels right now. <laughs> and we're going all the way out to Minmus, and maybe even trying to land on Minmus without any solar panels or um, any fuel cells. Not wise, but totally doable. Alright, EVA report. Grab the crew report. Grab the goo data. Actually, no. I'm going to get back in there, and I'm going to reset that because I want to focus up on the goo data with Minmus. So let's reset that goo canister, and then get back out here so we can grab the rest of that data. 
make our way out to the space high above Minmus, grab the data there, and the space near Minmus, grab the data there, and then we'll land on Minmus and try to make a home. That's not good. Uh, what's up with this? I don't want to use any more Delta V, man. Give me a break. That's moving us in. Let's wrap around. Do 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 do. SAS off. Cut. Good enough. We'll take it from there. Oh wow, it's still moving us in. How? Neither way. All right, retro. <laughs> if it wants to be difficult. There we go. What's that looking like? Back to ten thousand. All right. Don't really have to worry about the cracking, but just in case. Let's move into the space high above Minmus. Eleven day journey, huh? Where are you at, Minmus? Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Little aqua ice cream dot floating in the sky. Don't take that literally, please. Let's do some science. I'm not going to grab the goo data from high above them. We're going to save one of those for the surface and one for near Minmus. Space near it. Let's grab those, a crew report, an EVA report, and then we'll move in and make orbit. Let's go EVA. Not so bad so far. Getting a good about a good amount of science so far. Should come home with a bounty. We did grab that data, right? Yep. Okay, let's get back in there and warp on over to that periapsis and make orbit. It's moving awfully slow. EVA report before we do anything. Try to get an EVA report over this biome. Midlands. We'll take that. I want you to start heading towards that retrograde mark, and while you're doing that, I'm going to do this. I'm trying to do two things at once here. Let's grab that. Let's get this. Let's correct that. This and then it's already starting to rise up. I need to get a move on. Let's kick the tire and light the fire. And that's not how we do that. <laughs> that's how we do that. Zoop. Okay. Now, plenty of delta V. I think there's enough delta V to be able to be able to do all this. Let's hit that EVA now we'll see if it's over a different biome. Lowlands. All right, we'll take it. Now, how about this? Yep. And this. Yep. And this. Did we get a crew report? I think we did, but we need to check. Crew report. I saw one. Would have hurt to grab a. Uh, that science data high above Kerbin, actually. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? Pretty sure we did. Need to make sure, then. Let's uh, review all the data we have. All right. EVA report from space just above the Midlands and the Lowlands. Near Minmus. And that's near Minmus. Near Minmus. Crew report. There we go. High over, high over, high over, Kerbin, high over, Kerbin. Did we grab a crew report high over, Kerbin? I did not even bother to watch for that. Let's check. That's EVA. We need to get the EVA report from there, too, though. 
says EVA or crew report need to keep an eye on it. High over curve in EVA. Crew report high over curve. Alright, we are green for good. Let's wrap around and land over there in the lesser flats. Be kind of fun to try to do this by eye. Not even going back to the map at all. But we don't have any like retrograde or prograde marks to use either. <laughs> so it is going to be fun. But uh, alright. Let's do this. Jeb, you look so excited. I, I share your sentiment. Let's reduce the speed. Go to surface mode. And let's turn this way. So we can land at the lesser flats. So let's aim north. Punch it and go on down. Let's reorient to the retro mark and continue down. Just a hundred or so to burn off, not a big deal. Kind of overdid it there, but that's okay. Kind of curious, where's curving right now? Is it right over? Oh, it is right there. Fantastic. This will be an easy shot home then. Can't work back down though, so we're going to have to do it the long way. We can do an EVA and grab an EVA report over the lesser flats. Grab some signs there. Now it's just a matter of landing, which won't be hard at all. Won't even take the a wee bit more delta V. This is going good. Going good. Wonder if this thing would be capable of going out to the MUN and making it back. Pretty curious. For now, let's get these remaining 180 or 1,800 meters down get down to the surface without landing gear or RCS to maintain stability once we land. Because, you know, it's Kerbal. Why not? <laughs> so within the first 45 minutes, launched the pea shooter, broke through the atmosphere, made orbit, and immediately went to Minmus, and here we are. Not bad. Could be better, <laughs> but not bad. Yeah, I see a green sandstone back there to take home too. There's some more signs for us. Try to do a little bit of a suicide burn here. Keeping a lock on retro without a retro lock itself is going to be the fun part. I love endless. It requires so little to be able to do so much. Nice and stable are we though? Are we gonna fall over? Or are we gonna just sit nice and still? Come on. Come on. Give us what we want so we can get what we need. I don't want this to fall over. Looks stable enough. As long as it doesn't crack it. I'm gonna do that just in case it does though, because it has been known to do this. Get some mystery goo data. Barometric pressure reading. Temperature reading. Did we grab the crew report? Space near Memphis. We need to free up space. Alright, moment of truth. <laughs> As if it's such a critical moment. Alright. Everything is going good so far. Just need to take that data, grab the EVA and the surf and stone, plant a flag, and go home. It's saying that we got some data that we already had, and I'm not sure that's possible. I think we're going to have to check, um, check on that EVA report once we're on the ground. But let's do that. 
Let's get down here and locate that sandstone. I see one back there. Is there another one closer there? I don't want to get too far from this vessel. Looks like that's probably the closest one, if not maybe that one back over uh, all the way over here. I guess we'll go over there then. Let's try to make this quick just in case something happens to that vessel. If it does, I mean, you can very easily stand it back up even without a reaction control wheel. But uh, I'd rather not, <laughs> unless it's absolutely necessary. vessel still looks like it's standing. It looks like it's a little sideways though. I'm starting to get concerned. So let's try to hurry this along, Jib. Yeah, it's falling. Hope it doesn't explode. At least it looks like it's falling. I don't know what it's doing. Alright, let's hurry. Grab the surface sample again just in case. Grab the EVA report. I don't know, I guess it's stable. Just very concerned. I'm going to plant the flag here. It's going to be flag one. This will be a moment of truth too, though, because as soon as it loads up, everything kind of hops from time to time, like Jeb just did. Here, number one. There you go. Number one, Jeb. Here, number one. Let's get out of here. Still good. Huh. That honestly doesn't happen. <laughs> Not without landing gear and only a swivel. But I'm not gonna complain. Let's get in here and go home. Not bad for our first run. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we can just take off and go straight 90 and make it straight home. So let's check the line. We're a little over, so be a little hairy, but that's okay. Let's do this. Where's 90? Where's 90? Oh, okay. How are we looking? Not bad. Not bad. slam into anything though that just kind of became a cause for concern upon realization. Ooh, we well, very well could have without realizing it, but we're in the clear now, I believe. We'll have to correct that on the way home though, and just in case, because it is looking a little hairy. We're not gaining much altitude. I need to boost up just a hair all right now we're looking good that's okay it's not gonna let me do that then let's wait wonder if I can get an EVA report from a biome that we haven't been in while we're on our way the lowlands I think I've already got that yep well we're in the clear here in a few seconds we'll be able to time warp Minimus. Might see you again soon. Now, Kerbin, we're coming for you. Try to zoop past the moon. Make our way closer to Kerbin. Alright, that's close enough. Let's figure out where that. Oh wow, that's not good. Okay, let's fix that. Can we just. Nope, okay, we're gonna have to adjust this. Let's go radial out. Use a little delta V to get that uh, periapsis to pop out. Are we going polar? It looks polar. It is polar. <laughs> How did that happen? That's weird. Okay, anyways. Um, you know, it'd be really groovy to land at the North Pole, wouldn't it? 34,990, almost perfect. Let's take it. And head over. Wait a minute. Which side are we? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. 
Switch to surface quickly. Well, that almost went bad real quick. We were coming in from the South Pole, right? Instead of the North. I worked way past. Yeah, we were coming in from the South side instead of the North. That could have went real bad real quick if it wasn't automatically pointing at the retrograde mark upon arrival, naturally. That's, um, whew, that's luck. Definitely luck. And even more lucky that, um, we're only gonna have to burn through this once since it warped straight down to 35,000 almost. That's wild. <laughs> so we're 30,000 meters up in the atmosphere, going over 2,000 meters per second sideways. Enjoy the ride, Jim. Because <laughs> we're going to make sure that never happens again. safely, because I'm, I was scared out of my mind there for a second, just not showing it. Like you, Jeb, I learned from the best. Alright, let's pop the drugs. Got so sloppy in all this lately. I really need to work on that and get this rust worked off. Getting way too sloppy these days. speed. Not bad. I see you out there, Moon. Mun, you're next. <laughs> Unless we make a plane or something. Just depends on what we unlock. Really. Alright, not mistaken, there's nothing I can get right now. But I'm gonna try to see about a surface sample. I'm gonna get 0.5. Definitely won't be able to. Get, I don't know. Might be able to get like 0.1 next if we try it again. Not worth it. That 0.5. You never know. Never know when you're gonna need just that little bit more to unlock something. But yeah, it is what it is. Science is science. How did we only gain 0.5 science? Is it because Jeb was EVA? Was he EVA? Do I need to go back to the tracking station? I think I was EVA. If not, we just got robbed. Alright, recover that. There it is. 644.4 gain, 662 total. Lots of science from Menmus. A little bit from the space around Kerbin and Menmus. What is this? How is it still in orbit? We're gonna leave it there. Let's go spend some science and wrap this up. I think I'll be cutting this one off at an hour. Alright, let's get the terrier there. Gonna need that. Kinda wanna build planes, but it's not essential, not yet. Get that for some more science and some batteries. Relayability. Mm. Some solar panels would be nice. Let's get
get those. Uh, not worried about the docking port yet. RCS and a control wheel would be nice. Kinda need to get towards that and overall that'll run me like 135 science. We got some landing gear in one of these, this one, so I ain't gonna worry about that too much. Let's try to get through the tech tree here a little bit. Try to catch ourselves up to where we were in the last series a wee bit. Got enough for one more 90 and one more of these. Well, I guess it would just be that one. What am I going to spend you on? Oh, some fairings and nose cones would be good. There's some extra large decouplers. Construction parts. Could even use some robotics. Some more nose cones. Stuff for the plane stuff. Some extra... Strength landing gear, launch control, uh, launch abort system, escape, whatever. Uh, some bigger heat shields that we don't need just yet. Maybe. Uh, probe down experiment control station. Note that's the good monitor control station is where? Where's the control station? There you are. Can't get both. We do have power, but no experiments unless we get that. Not gonna get either of those then. Some fairings would probably come in handy considering the difficulty changes that we are experiencing. So I'll get that and this. That'll take care of the science expenditure. Let's update our save. Why did I just go into the space plane hangar? like it wants me to build a plane to go jetting around Kerbin and I'm not the best at landing planes. I can fly them. It's best if I leave the landing to the parachutes on planes though. Let's get out of here. Update the quick save. Ooh, it's on the itinerary for the next episode. I want to put some relays out, but I want some better relay parts first. I want to go to the moon. Probably do that, of course. Might go to the moon and then build a plane, do some flying, check out some biomes. Uh, yeah, what about our astronaut complex? He did level up twice, how about that? Let's update their suits. Let's find some good recruits. If I can go one episode without rhyming, that would be good. There's our pilot, backup pilot. How about any good scientists? I mean, Halford's good, kinda. We'll take him. I like Halford. He, uh, went to literally every outer planet and every jewel location in my tutorial series, I think. I think he ended up retiring on Lathe, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. Melman, I like you. We need a backup engineer. Foson, that's a new one. We'll take Foson. Get you suited up. So we have two teams now. Wouldn't hurt to see if we can start a third team. We have a pilot, Malman, another one that's very familiar. We we'll just need a scientist and an engineer for Malman. We're not seeing any good ones. Maybe Gleffel. I guess we'll take Gleffel. That'll be third string sign or engineering. Now we just need a scientist and there's only one. Lamond. 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 You know what? We'll take her. There. We have our third string team prepared. Looking good. We just need trained up. Let's update the quick save and the main save. That'll be it for this episode. Did I accidentally change the flag? Okay, good. I didn't. Are there more flags? I wish we could get some more flags. That'd be nice. 
Anyways, next episode, we're gonna go to the moon, and then do a little bit of flying from biome to biome, maybe, if there's time. If not, we'll do that in the third episode. And by then, we'll probably be putting out some relays in the third episode as well. Have a little fun, make a little progress, hopefully not kill any kerbals. Uh, but that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out.